Looney Farm Guy here, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the massive update to the T440 Multi Harvester Pack by Mark Thor. If it wasn't already good enough, he has made some massive improvements to this pack, and we will try to do our best to go through them in a logical manner. However, I, I'm sure I'm going to miss something, but we're going to try and catch everything the best that I can um, that I can so um, the change log is is huge I'm not gonna read it all I am going to post it in the uh, mod description or the video description and um, there yeah so uh, added added contract missions so that's this is for the parsnip carrot beet root sugar beet yeah so these uh, once you have this on your map these uh, machines should pop up in your contracts as equipment available for contracts so that's really neat um, the forge contracts are not on console there are PC that's a PC only thing the forge contracts but if you do have if you do play this on PC have this mod we have a forge header here that uh, apparently will also appear in contracts so that's uh pretty neat um so we got some add-ons we got uh, the add-on bits there we're going to show you how that works for uh potatoes sugar beets and sugar cane uh, da, 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 da. There's an option to add. Do 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 do. Yes. Okay. Um. Added a extra. So we added. He added a new forage harvester. This a totally new one. In addition to the beet, the the root harvester here, but we have a forage harvester with a bunch of heads. For forage harvesting. So um, we're gonna look at that. That's, um. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. As you can see we have a light indicator yeah uh, you're going to be some doing some massive work with this thing if you like you don't have to there are smaller options but yeah we we go big or go home right uh poplar header also so there's a poplar and uh we said sugar cane yes nine meter poplar header we have a multi-fruit um trailer or cart that has been added i do if i remember my conversations with uh, mark um there was yeah th auger wagon so i see this naming has been approved everything obviously every been thing has been approved it was a bit of a process he had to do some changes um, but we have it. We have it all here now. So everything is awesome. Uh, also, one other thing, he added a pin hitch to the header trailer so that you can string a bunch of them together. Now, it is a swivel front, so it's going to be a little, well, I find it tricky to back up to hook it up, but I did manage to do that. So where do we start? Oh, my goodness. Right. So I have been testing it out and everything seems to be working pretty good i didn't test everything yet because i really wanted to get this out and um th there's so much going on here okay so where is everything so the best thing to do the best thing you can do to find everything with this pack is just go to the mods and dlcs because they are they are um the forage harvesters i believe there is a new forage harvester so they are spread out according to what categories they're supposed to be in. There's the multi-harvester. Yes, it's a uh, it is premium expansion ready with the new crops, parsnips, carrots, and red beets. <coughs> also cotton. I think cotton was I think cotton was there before. Although if you do harvest cotton with this, it's going to be bulk cotton. So just be aware it might not. It might be a bit tricky to to handle bulk cotton just as a warning um let's just look at it now capacity is up to five million liter capacity now five million liters that's a lot uh engine capacity uh engine has stayed the same wheel 
choices are, are pretty standard there and color choices so that's the multi harvester nothing much has changed with that but the new forage harvester is basically the same but we have grass yes you can cut grass with this and we'll try to i'll try to remember to show that uh it says wood chips so that's the um the wood chip header chaff we'll show that and uh yes oh yes indeed it does have a capacity for um silage additives so the capacity is here also up to five million everything else is the same so it's pretty pretty nice and simple not a whole lot of extra stuff colors color options of course lots of color options even toothpaste uh where is it main color even uh, toothpaste tractor color our good friend dj's favorite color right so um let's let's start with the beetroot and here we go this is a beet now i there is this is uh if you pick the largest if you pick the largest engine uh it is a 200 mile per hour top speed however the tires i did find there are a bit slidey um so it could become a little bit difficult to handle um i didn't try a different tire let's try a different tire because it can cause some issues so let's go down let's try trailborg because that's it's like either midas bkt michelin trailborg um let's try trailborg and see if the uh Oh, and I have, it has defaulted to a, a smaller amount. I've lost my beats. Uh, no, it looks like everything's kind of still pretty slidey. So, um, let's put a cell point. And uh, I, I um, yeah, there we go. Uh, let's change this back to the bigger the bigger um capacity because i do want let's let's um yeah it it changed yeah we lost we lost the beats that we were in there so if you're customizing <clears throat> just uh, be aware you're gonna lose crop okay so let's hook up our header because we have beats in there we still have a bit of a beat crop so there we go hooked up to the trailer <coughs> Uh, the, it locks onto the trailer pretty good, so no worries there. Let's lower this. Get our help window. Get our help window on. All right. So let's talk about the headers. We have these things. What are these things? This is a sugar beet add-on. We'll show you where to find these. Here's a potato add-on. This is the sugar beet one. Yes, that's the one we're gonna get, we're gonna be using. And there's a sugar cane add-on. Now, what are these? Where are these? Tools, forage harvester headers. So here are all the forage harvester headers. Now, that's not where we're looking for. We're looking for beet. So we have all in one. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, throat's a bit dry. Um, so we have the options here, the all-in-one standard, that's 12 miles per hour. That is a standard header. If you want to use standard size and speed, then go ahead and pick this. We have color options, but we just have the various, so if you're doing potatoes or, or beets or sugar cane, and you want to label your header that then you have that option all in one fast so this will do the, your premium crops without add-ons but if you want to do the sugar beets or the sugar cane or the potato you have to have an add-on because there's a topper it's basically the topper that you're adding just to be clear 
Uh, this one, 24 miles per hour. So just slightly faster. Double the speed, which is, well, slightly faster because the last one is 68 miles per hour. And this one, you can change your working width. We have standard, we have blue light 50 meter, red light 50 meter, blue light 100 meter, red light 100 meter. And then you can also change decals. So you can set this up for those. Now, this again, this will work for without an add on red beets, carrots, and cotton, and parsnips. Now, here's the sugar beet add on. It looks like a header, but it's a box, which we just showed. Now, this also has so 50 meter to work with Unreal headers. So this only works um, with the Unreal header if you want the 50 meters. If you put this on one of the other headers, it won't do 50 meters or 100 meters. So standard 50, 100, right? Got it? Hopefully. Hopefully I'm being clear here. So we have the Unreal header configured to 100 meters, and so I picked the 100 meter sugar beet add-on. Just place it in front of your header, and you should be just drive. There we go. You'll get that little sugar beet add-on kind of. It's, it's really basically you want to line it up to this piece here. All right. And when you press that to add it, it disappears, but it's on there because you see the top left corner there. We can drop it again. There it is. Or we can pick it up again. There it is. Right. So let's, uh, let's lift that up. There we go. And go over to our beat field, which I had been playing with a little bit. And you'll get to your field really quickly with this but just try not to turn too sharply or you're gonna go you're gonna go for a spin <coughs> oh yes it, it it is very slidey it's like as if you're on ice or something it is a little tricky and because it's kind of slidey like that you want to be very yeah it is like super slidey okay let's lower it down and let's turn our lights on because that's where we're going to see the marker r1 and circle will turn your light on i know some of you have been wondering how do i turn that light on so r1 and circle will turn your light on there is no there you don't see that on your help window so all right so we are and it's nice we can scroll back way back here to get those so you see where the lights are? That's where we're going to be harvesting. Now let's turn it on. Drive forward. And there we go. Now I'm going to hire a worker. Because yes, yes, it does work with a worker. And look at that thing go. 68 miles per hour. Not skipping anything either. Now it's maxed out at 68 because I think that's as fast as you can go without missing harvesting stuff now this was the part i wasn't sure was going to work but the uh, worker is it's he's not going very fast so you have to be patient and you have to allow a very large area around um at the end of the field if you want the worker to be doing this but he will eventually get around and line up to the field. Farm Dog Max is like, oh, I'm gonna go try this out myself. <laughs> so here we go, the light. So when the when the worker is working, they turn the lights off. So you're not gonna see that marker light unless it's dark, of course. And it says he's completed his task. Really? Now it. Why did he do that? Um, that's odd. Uh, of course he didn't do that when I when I tried it all right so at this pace I don't think anyone's really going to be unless you're like the the maps we have on console aren't very big you can clear off a field obviously like this and you just you can let the worker go and then just 
fire the worker and then line it back up but look it's if you're moving and you hire a worker he might um he might get a little squirrely and so there you just line them up and hire a worker and away he goes again and we have basically cleared off this sugar beet field in um, very little time as you can see here while i'm trying to explain how everything works right so um oh, oh no not cotton um oh yeah i don't know why it took some cotton there not good all right so let's make our way back over here and let's uh let's unpipe and um we're going to dump it into our new trailer now the new trailer um well yeah okay i'm going to be bouncing around here a little bit because I, it's just really we'll talk about the trailer in a moment we're just going to unload into it i've set this trailer to to 10 million yes 10 million liter capacity so there's uh there's lots of room in this trailer but we're just going to unload into this to see how fast the the harvester unloads and um if i recall it unloads pretty fast probably by the time we get into it it's going to be almost done and actually it's done already so extremely fast unloading speed very nice now say you wanted to switch to let's go ahead and pop that one out so here we go that's a sugar beet add-on say okay well i'm done with sugar beets i want to go harvest my uh, sugar cane field now so all you have to do go is go there and there we go sugar cane i have a little bit of sugar cane over here not oh it is very slidey so i literally have a very little bit of sugar cane over here and uh, sugar cane needs a topper and that is what i just added there so that so here's our width again and away we go well, let's see 68 miles per hour yes we're going to clear this sugar cane here in uh in a very short period of time just like that and we're gonna lift that up and uh make our way back to our farm yard and um and then we're going to try out the forage harvester whoa oh yeah very squirrely so um, if you are driving this on roads or anywhere, I would recommend going a little slower than top speed because you might get yourself into quite a lot of trouble. All right, so let's turn that light off. Right, so that is... Um, the header and the beetroot. Now let's finally get to our newest one which is the forage harvester so as you can see i have the lights on here and we have one of the we have the um so let's go look at our forage harvester headers so the one i have so there's again there's there's a whole bunch of them there's three of each three forage harvester the standard one at nine meters 12 miles per hour that is a basically base game version with with color options right okay then we have a fast one which is at 24 miles per hour also nine meter width working width so just faster but standard speed then we go to unreal 68 mile per hour and this one has the option for a blue light 50 meter red light 100 meter blue or red light so this is the unreal width and speed color options let's go here that is the hub color main color we can do it toothpaste if you like design color we can go kind of like a chromey color 
and then uh, rim rim color there we go so color options uh, as much as you like as many as you like and so we have the same thing with the poplar so we have a forage and a poplar poplar is pop strictly poplar and again 50 or 100 meter working width if you so choose to do that now <clears throat> I have already some chaff in here let's uh, let's go we uh, have some corn no this is sunflowers uh, so you want to um, let's turn our light on there we go this is let's turn it on and drive forward and uh, yeah now if I hire a worker here you see he's kind of oh yeah he's he's got a little he went sideways a little bit because I didn't line him up um, just be careful if you're like hey let's uh, let's go worker and yeah it's just such a wide yeah just be careful when you just want to be basically standing like stopped and just turn it on move forward a little bit and then hire the worker oh he's 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 harvesting the uh the wheat and then we'll get into the uh sunflowers here so we'll we'll finish off the sunflowers and then we'll this is all chaff so you can turn all this stuff into chaff now would i recommend you doing sunflowers making chaff out of sunflowers not necessarily no um probably not a good idea um just you would likely do much i know i know you would do much better selling the uh selling the sunflowers harvesting the sunflowers and selling it but you can turn um, nearly any crop into chaff if you like so forage harvesting yeah um going to be quick and quick and clean <clears throat> so now I, something i haven't tried yet is uh, the um, grass now let's unload now we're using the same forage harvester header and notice when it says forage unreal there's a little grass uh, icon down there corn grass wheat barley oats canola soybeans sorghum and sunflowers right so let's get rid of these uh, two million liters of chaff and we should empty that out very quickly very nice bam it is empty now let's go try this out on this grass field here now it's not meadow grass it won't uh, it won't mow meadow grass but should mow planted grass here let's make sure we line it up and not not um, get any other crops in here accidentally so you do have to be when you're running that wide of a um there we go mowing grass let's hire a worker yes a worker will work mowing grass now just make sure that the trick here is even though we're got um a lot of grass in there the five percent rule applies what is a five percent rule if you have less than five percent of a certain product in your hopper or trailer or something like that and you go to another crop say this in this case we have grass in there but it's less than five percent we have two percent and this header also does chaff watch what instantly happened what happened we lost all our grass and it started harvesting chaff in this field so when you have these very large capacities like five million liters be very careful not to accidentally pick up another crop somehow especially doing so now if you're doing chaff it will eat anything practically except grass but if you're doing grass and you nick and you nick say your cornfield because of the wet wide width 
it will um, it, it will delete all your grass if it's less than 5% volume. Now that's different now if you only had the 60,000 liter capacity. Uh, it doesn't take much to get 5% of that. So hopefully that made sense. Now, <clears throat> we're going to empty it out anyways. Oh, Farm Dog Max wants to have another look. There we go. So it's emptied out quick. Now we're going to swap because what else has been added is the, um, I have also the, whoops, come on, hold on. So I've attached the poplar head. I made it red so I could tell it, tell the difference. Uh, there it is. So Homer 5M poplar unreal. Let's hop in. Let's turn our light on. I have configured this one to 50 meters to be a little bit more manageable, shall we say. Let's unfold it. There we go. And lower it down. And turn it on. And there, there we go. Now, one thing I didn't try... Excuse me. One thing I didn't try yet is um the 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 silage additive for these other things hold on sorry about that there it is i've put on uh, one um one pallet of bond silage at what's well, supposed to be 60 liters i don't know why it's 59.71 but anyways 120 liter capacity there but we're gonna see if uh if it gets used up I don't think it gets used for poplar, which is not a surprise, but I did want to try that. So there we go. Just soaking up all those poplars uh, with this header. And uh, let's uh, turn around here. Let's hire a worker. We should be able to hire a worker. And we can. And there you go. So your worker will do it. Of course, the light will turn off because that's what workers do. They turn off all the lights. Right. <clears throat> all right. So. I did harvest all the grass. Let's go. <laughs> now that I put bond silage in there, uh, let's. Um, Let's drop that off and we'll go test to see. Make sure the silage additive works for chaff. All right, so here we are in our cornfield again, and let's just make sure, yes. So the silage additive is going down. Uh, is it actually giving us 5%? I, I don't know that it is or not, but it is being used up, so uh, and actually be not being used up at a overly excessive rate which is which is cool so it must be uh, must be getting used up at a lower rate for the amount of silage we're harvesting because um, we're, 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 we're taking in like a lot so um, just we're just gonna zip on down here we have a I have some um sorghum over here oh there's some more wheat left we have sorghum and it will take sorghum too like that so so if i'm kind of going along and i want to hire a worker he will kind of slide around a little bit before he settles in so just yeah just because it goes so fast all right so finally our last item hopefully um hopefully i i got everything if i missed anything I'm sure Mark will watch this and he will let me know right away if I miss something. Uh, these do have a hitch on the back that will attach to this trailer so you can pull on, pull along multiple heads if you wish. Finally, like I alluded to before, the trailer. The trailer is new, so that's important. I do believe it's going to be in auger wagons. Yes. Uh, there it is. So, uh, multi-fruit, even grapes, which is awesome. Plus, um, let's see if it scrolls back. Um, the premium, yes, yes, it also will do the premium 
<clears throat> and cotton. So it will hold cotton if you are harvesting cotton with that with this pack uh this will hold cotton now we start at the capacity of 120,000 liters which is i think actually larger than standard but that's pretty much the, this standard 500 2.5 million 5 million and yes 10 million liters i think i could be wrong but i am pretty sure that is uh now our largest uh, capacity trailer on uh, console for farming simulator 22 so congratulations to mark Thro thor for getting that through testing uh, we have uh, tire options um, and michelin vertisine trailerborg yeah those three tire options nothing within there just few yeah that's good enough um yeah they're tires hub color we can change that. We'll change that to red. Uh, main color, we have all these beautiful colors. I haven't made anything purple yet, so there we go. Uh, design color, let's make that there. So that's the stripe. We can make that um, like toothpaste. So you can see that. And then a rim color, we have some interesting, uh, let's see here. That's kind of the, oh, almost looks like the toothpaste color, doesn't it? And we have some metallic colors. Oh, that looks really nice. Look at that. Nice. And then license plate. So I have spent a lot, quite a lot of time filling this. I got 65, 6,757,000 725 liters in here of beets we have lights we have a beacon what else do we have we can uh, fold or unfold so you can fold and unfold it even if there's some in there pipe out L1 and down on your d-pad we're gonna need that pipe out to unload it we're gonna see how fast it unloads right stick left and right and uh oh that's interesting so it go there we go okay up and down nice and uh l1 and right stick we can adjust that tip on there so look everything looks pretty standard here right so let's see how fast this unloads i didn't uh i, I got tired of waiting to see how long to fill it up that's a lot 10 million liters so basically if you maxed out your harvester capacity at 5 million you can unload two loads now, i don't even think you could get that much off of a 2x map but yeah and there we go so let's see how fast oh my goodness look at that Ooh, that is fast wow And there, I think that wraps it up. I, I didn't test, yeah, I didn't test the cotton. Uh, there might have been a couple of, I didn't test the, the, the new crops I, were part of the last update, I believe. So that wasn't changed. Yeah. Um, yeah, wow. Um, what can I say? Um, fantastic job by Mark Thor. Congratulations, sir on this update uh this is a great pack um something everyone should at least look at and try out uh if if the for the very least uh for the this new trailer um that's pretty cool the unload speed is just ridiculous um i like it so there you go that's the update change log 1001 actually it's the first change log the original one already had the the new crops um t440 multi-harvester pack by mark thor on farming simulator 22 thank you all for watching and remember it's only a game so till the next one bye for now